Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the Editor-in-Chief over at the Serverside.com and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about integrating Tomcat 9 with Eclipse. Uh, I just installed Tomcat 9. There it is in my underscores tools folder and it's also in there in the same folder as Eclipse. I'm going to kick off Eclipse. Uh, Eclipse IDE Photon 2018 December release. And I'm going to throw it into the My Eclipse folder. We'll get Eclipse to kick off here. And there we go. Eclipse has started. And so if you want to use uh, Tomcat, Tomcat in Eclipse, well, the first thing you want to do is just create a, a new dynamic web project, a little Java project in, in Eclipse. And I'm using version 9 here, so I think I can go as high as version 4. Maybe I'll go 3.1, go Tomcat. Eclipse example as the name here. And you know, I don't need an ear file. In fact, I don't even need a web.xml file. So you notice that uh, it will give you the option to generate a web.xml file. And I say, no, I'm not even going to do that. Just create a, a very basic application. And if you want to just test out uh, an application, all you really have to do is just create a new Java server page. If your Java server page will run, then, well, you know that your Tomcat server is working, so I'll call it index.jsp. That's just convention. That looks like a, a happy little JSP there. Now, one thing that you'll notice is it's saying, you know, it can't find the superclass HTTP servlet. And, yeah, this is a JSP, not a servlet, but in order to compile a JSP, it actually has to have the whole servlet and JSP API associated with it. And of course, it can't find that right now. It's saying, hey, I can't find any servlet runtime to link to. And that's where Tomcat comes in. So I can just uh, click on this application here and, and maybe say run as run on server. Um, it's not going to run right now if things don't compile. But by saying run on server, it's going to force me to configure a server. And you can see here I've got the option to configure an Apache server. I've got Apache 9.0 in Photon. So, so I'm going to configure an Apache server on my localhost. It's Apache Tomcat 9. It's going to ask for the installation directory. So I think you can actually just ask it to do the installation for you. But I've got Tomcat 9 installed here. There's all of the important pieces, web app and bin. I'm going to select that folder. Click Next. Tomcat Eclipse has been placed in there. And so now that particular application is associated with that Tomcat server. It looks like it's even starting it up and can even try and compile it and run it, which is a very generous thing to do. Now, I still have this little error over here in Tomcat Eclipse, and it's because the, the project isn't actually linking to all of the different libraries that Tomcat provides. So I'm going to click on this project and say Properties, and I'm going to say, you know, I want to add to the Java build cat path, I want to add server runtime and specifically the Tomcat server runtime. So it's going to make all of the the libraries that are associated with Apache Tomcat available to the project. And you notice that once I've done that, all of a sudden the error in index.jsp goes away. Now I guess I got to do the requisite hello world. And I guess I could also what insert a scriptlet here. Do they allow you to do that through a, a JSP sort of additive, but I don't know, what can you do? You can say the current date is, and then percentage equals new java.util.date. Now this isn't anything particularly impressive, uh, but do jamming new java.util.date will prove if this runs that it's actually running Java, right? Like, I mean, if I just have a, a new title, you know, say hello world, this is all just text. But if this gets processed, then I know that in fact the, the page is running on Tomcat and it's executing a, a server-side resource. So I'll say right-click, run on server. I'll select that Tomcat server. I don't know what the next option is there. I'm just making sure that the file is in there. And now all of a sudden you can see it's saying hello world and it is processing that Java call, new java.util.date. And so there you go. That's how easy it is just to create a new dynamic project 
how to JSP and run all of that on a Tomcat server configured inside of the Eclipse environment.